Well, Mike, you always know after a couple of disappointing results, you mentioned it at the weekend, one win in 12. You look on the internet, fans, whatever you like, there's not going to be a huge amount of praise out there, but as a side, you've just got to keep cracking on. Yeah, I mean, the answer is don't look on the internet because there's never usually nice things going on on there. So um, that's one way of coping with it. But also, I think just, yeah, the reality is the, the results. I mean, if we get a positive result, we'd be, we'd be two wins, two draws, two... Uh, two defeats in six. So the runs of games is like, yeah, it's one in 12 and we've got to win and we've got to score more goals and we've got to improve our situation. But, you know, you're only ever um, you're only ever a win away from everything feeling and looking a lot, lot better. So um, I think the time between the two defeats probably helps a little bit because the Peterborough game was quite a long time ago. Um, we've twice now this season lost consecutive games and we've won consecutive games once in the league. So it's trying to find a moment where we do that. It's trying to make sure that um, defeats are followed by point scoring days as much as possible. We haven't followed defeats with enough wins, but we have finished it with, we have followed them with a lot of points this season. So that's important because I think point scoring days is, is really key. In the end, the number of total wins that we're going to get isn't going to be 25. Um, and so, therefore, we have to value draws when we get them as much as almost. So, we're working really hard now to try and make sure that we put an end to two defeats on the bounce and to try and get a positive result tomorrow. We absolutely need some wins. Uh, we absolutely need a goal threat and, and a little bit more quality in the top end of the pitch. Um, but we know that it can turn quite quickly. And so, there's a real determination about us to try to get a positive result tomorrow. Was there almost an element at the weekend, the, the first goal was just a, a horrible moment, but does that come about from, from almost trying too hard when you, you tense up and I guess maybe the goals play into this as well when you know there aren't that many goals in the team, even as a, as a defence you then have that in mind? I don't know. I mean, the error, the, the, the goal is so preventable, the first one. I think for, for me, a little bit is the goal itself and the concentration that's just needed to see out really simple moments so that the first goal doesn't go against us. But then the mentality after that, there's been a couple of games this season, I think three, where we've conceded goals in quick succession. And obviously two becomes a lot harder to turn around at that point. Having said that on Saturday, I felt we were banging the game once we got the goal. Uh, going to 10 hurt us a little bit, but we're still in. We forced them to go to a back five with, ten, with 11 players against 10. Um, and we've tried to chase it best we can. We had a couple of moments, but not enough real good quality to get back in the game. But we had a right, we had a right chase at the end to try and get something from the game. But the task becomes more difficult when it's two goals that you're trying to get, or three, um, rather than the one. So I think there's an element of... Focus and concentration to make sure if a team scores against us, it's a really good goal. And I think over the course of the season defensively, we've been very strong and we've just uh, lapsed a couple of moments, really simple goals that we've conceded. Um, and, then, and then the management of the game in that shorter period after a goal to make sure that we respond really well and, and get ourselves back on top of the game. I think that that's a, another key element of the game. Um, and there's, a, there's an obvious mentality. I think over... Th four years really the first goal and I think you see it across a lot of leagues and a lot of games first goals can be really important we have to try and make sure they're not so important and that we can we can get our way back into a game if we fall behind at the same token of that we've got to have a bit more about us to make sure we're scoring the first goal more often and we make the most of the possessions that we have and try to dominate or control periods for longer in the opposition's half and therefore I think quite often it's sustained periods of pressure that lead to those chances and that's what we've got to work hard to do better with with adding to the goals, back end of last season, Sam Smith came into a run of form where he was, I think, basically scored in in every game once you, you started winning. Do you think it, it will be a case of there's somebody here who can step forward and find that run of form, or are you more imagining that if a number of players can contribute a few, that that, that could be the route? Look, I think we've got to try and make it from other places. I mean, Faye's in a good number of, res of goals so far. Gassan, hopefully that goal does him the world a good Saturday and that gives him a chance. But I, I think we've got players that should be adding more to the game in the attacking half of the pitch. You know, we've signed players like uh, George Thomas, we've got Jack Lancaster, James Brophy, Sully Kaikai, Seku, JK. All these players are signed with attacking intent to add to that. So there's a pressure on them to deliver. Um, I don't really buy confidence as an excuse for it. You, you, you've just got to back yourself and, and go and deliver for us when we need you to because that's, that's the job and we have to support them to make sure that we create the moments that give them a chance more often. So I think we've got a lot of players that can uh, add goals to the game. I think goals can come from set plays for us. We've had chances but not enough goals from that with the, the players that we've got. So I think there's enough goals throughout the whole collective um, and to be reliant on someone to score... 35 goals or 20 goals or 15 goals and one individual be the one you know you've got to get more than that anyway so it needs it takes everybody chipping in 
with that situation. It, you know, when you lose individuals that can score that number of goals, it's always going to be really hard for us to replace them. But we feel we've always got players that can uh, contribute in those areas, and we, we, we've got to try and make sure we put on displays that give them a, the best chance, um, and that we spread the goals throughout the team because I think that's going to be really important. We can't be reliant on one person to finish all the chances. I know we've touched on this before, but overall, are you still confident that from the outside looking in, people will still be saying, are the seasons following the same pattern as, as last season? I know we've spoken about it before, but are you still confident that you'll soon be heading in a, a different direction? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we've got some good players. I think we've, um, we've under-hit a couple of times and we're on a run that we want to we get more wins in. Um, but I think we're... Probably where we are, um, we want more wins. There's no question about that. We want to be better. We want to we want to get more results than we've had, and we want to show the best of us more often. Um, but we're not a playoff team. We're not a playoff chasing team or squad, so we're not going to be there. So the actual number of positions that we're fighting to be in is quite a small small part of the league. So um, we're in 16th position at the moment. It's not so relevant at the minute in, the, in terms of number of points. We're a couple of points short and probably one win short of where I think we should be. Definitely one win short of where we should be. Um, and so we're not too far away from in terms of the outcomes and the results and than we, we would expect to be at this period. But, of course, the, the other side of that is what you want and, and your ambition is to, to be higher than that. So, um, certainly, we want to try and push to, to get a few results quite quickly. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm confident because I, I think I, I think we're into a period where we can put results together. I think Saturday's was a really disappointing one because it's a game we should absolutely take something from um, and want to be winning. And then there's other games where you just accept when the team's better than you that you don't get the result. But in the main, we want to be making making sure we take results from those. And uh, in the in the week ahead, now with a home game tomorrow and a home game in the cup on Saturday, we want to have a good week for sure. What do you make of of Lincoln? They've had a lot going on this season. In that they've had a lot of injuries. They've had now a change of manager as well, and just starting to to bed in, I suppose, with with whatever they're doing. Yeah, always tough when you take someone uh, early. I mean, they've had three games with the new manager to get an idea of of what they might do. They've changed a little bit from game to game with that slight variations in their shape, um, and as you say, player availability with one or two injuries. Um, but they've had a, they defeated at, at Stevenage in the first game. Myself and Barry went to watch them at Leighton Orient last midweek, where they, they scored really late on to win the game, um, and then came from behind at the weekend to get a point against Barnsley. So I'm sure they'll be fairly happy with the points return in the three games that they've had. Um, they've certainly got some players that they've recruited well, some of which they've spent good money on to, to add. Very athletic team, um, and, and a number of players that are finding their way back to fitness. But certainly with a new manager, it's probably a case of getting a bit of a balance between building the team that they want to become and also they've had a lot of games in a short period of time, so building on the qualities that they've had before. And if you look at this team that they've had this season and last, they've been hard to beat, they've been counter-attacking very strong, they've had good defensive record and hard to create chances against, a lot of clean sheets, really good defensive record. Um, and so actually there's some similarities between ourselves and them over the last 18 months, and we have to try and make sure we come out on the right side of it. With the, the team news, no Paul Digby, of course, owing to a suspension. And the, the remarkable thing about Paul's red card is actually looking back how few you've had over over recent seasons I don't think there was a single red from last year a couple the the season before that so it actually it underlines that it's been a, a real strength then it is I mean we need 11 on the pitch certainly to have the best chance we we, we can't be carrying 10 um but we don't want to be too nice either you know we, we we have too few yellow cards being honest so sometimes that's a lack of aggression sometimes that's not just making tactical fouls when we need to stop attacks and you know Paul's first yellow card's a good one uh, Danny Andrew got one good one stop a counter-attack um, no one likes to hear it, but you've got to make those ones and, and we have to be a bit more streetwise and a bit tougher in those moments to stop the games. Um, I think that's important that we total those up, but we can't have the ones that are dissent and things because that just that just hurts us and they're too cheap to get. And we've had uh, Jack Lancaster suspended with two of his five dissent. We've had uh, Diggers sent off his second yellow dissent and that, that can really cost you. So we've got to make sure that we have that... Um, respect but emotional control to to handle those situations that temperament really matters but at the same time we need to make sure we're an aggressive team that um if we have to foul people we have to foul them if we have to make contact with people so be it um because that's what defending looks like 
What's the, the message or position for Seiku and for JK after the weekend? I suppose part of it is that with everybody fit, there's only so many players that can, can get in the squad. No, exactly. And, and with a number of games coming, I mean, we are... Um, with no doubt that everybody will play a part at different points and uh, one will come in tomorrow because of because of diggers being um, unavailable and it's just a case of working really hard to get your way in i mean catch is back fit sk's back fit both been training really well glenn's been training brilliantly and every time he's played he's he's, he's done very well so he deserves his place in there and can play in a few different positions which helps us with the balance of the squad um, so yeah, there isn't room for everybody. It, there is Saturday because the FA Cup allows you nine subs, but in the league with seven, um, which is plenty by the way, um, in the league with seven, it's um, it, it's not can't, everyone can't fit in there. So it's like you say, making the best of um, the opportunities that we've got. We've got everybody fit and available almost, which really helps us. And it's up to them to train their way and play their way back into it. Yeah, and with Seiku, how how close is he? Do you feel to to building some real momentum in that? The gap between the very best of what he's done in the U shirt and when it hasn't gone so well for him, it's been it's been quite big, unusually big over his over his career today. How close is he to cracking it? Do you reckon? Well, I don't know. I mean, at the start of the season he started great, and then I think since his injury the gap's been too big, and that's why he's found himself out of it. So he's got to work his way back into it as as, as quickly as he can because in the short period at the start of the season where he was fit and he was effective, um, that's probably the best spell we've had from him in a in a Cambridge shirt. He had a good preseason first year, good preseason this year and, and this starting period to the season was good uh, but in amongst that he's found it really difficult so it's up to him to find that level and consistency to, to give us what he's got because he's got good good qualities about him but he's got to find that level regularly.